Hi everybody, this is Susie. Hope you all are doing well today. I have several things to share with you that I've been working on and they are actually two gift sets. Um, so um, I'm, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to bring that over to you now and show you what I've been doing. Um, I have something here that, um, that I'm so excited to share with you. Um, I'm sorry about that. I just hit the camera. Um, there's one, uh, there's two items here that I am featuring, um, that, uh, I used, uh, the products from a Shabby Shabbylicious gift shop on Zibet. Um, and that's the first thing I'm going to show you here. The, I'll just get to one thing at a time and, um, and that'll be it. So anyway, what I made here was this keepsake box. Very, very pretty. It's a chipboard box. It's not very tiny. It's not very big. It's a nice size for um, uh, keepsakes of small little things. Um, and I used the shabby licious lace and some of the metal findings and a couple of the doodads here. And I made these stick pins and I put some... Um, mulberry paper roses on here and some crinkled seam binding that I made the box came out very pretty I'm just gonna show you the top part what's going on over there those metal pieces um, I bent I, I bent uh, so I would have be able to use them but use them in another way than just um, other ways that I've been uh, thinking about using them. I wanted it to appear to look like something else, which it really didn't, but I kind of liked it when I rolled it, so I kept it that way. And this is that metal flower that I had in a couple of my other projects that you may have seen. And I used a different shape one, and I did the same for that, and I put some pearls in there. Very, very pretty lace. It's like an A crew color. I cut the lace up. I didn't have much left. I cut the lace up, and um, I kind of, if you can see over here, uh, around the um, the top of the um, the box, I just had that drooping over, and it looks very pretty. Um, it's all the way around the box, and uh, so is the seam binding. I didn't want to overdo the box. I have this cute little bow on the side here just draping down. Looking so Victorian. I just love it that it's very elegant and simple at the same time but pretty. And so I wanted to show you the other item that I featured as well for uh, Shabby Licious here. Um, and um, this is a heart that I created and you'll see that this lace here is also another lace that uh, Shabby Licious uh, shop um, carries. Hello? And I'm sorry about that. Another gift that Shab uh, another um, lace that uh, Shabby Licious carries as well as the background lace here. You'll see that as well. Um, that's uh, a piece of lace that I had also used from Shabby Licious. Uh, the heart is very, very pretty. It's very floppy in a way, kind of really very um, vintagey. The creams, uh, the, the back is plain. Um, it's basically the standard way that I make all of the hearts that I've been making for years. I usually put some kind of ribbon, bow, seam binding, hanging. Um, fabrics and laces and pearls. This one was a little bit plainer because the lace was very fran fancy and I just love the way that that came out. And incorporating um, with that I, I was also remembering that this is a keepsake gift set. So um, what I have here is one of my hangers um, which I've been making for over 20 years and I really have not showcased them uh, and um, I, I had a copy written on my designs and um, at one time and uh, shared it and I just wound up making the video private and now I'm releasing some of my um, my newest designs once again. Um, I did not stuff this hanger. This is a baby hanger. This is a child's padded hanger. This is all vintage lace from Italy. It's over 40 years old. Um, and I have, I have lots of scalloped, um, pearls here and some really pretty flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, this one is a little bit plainer, but on the other side there's some flowers and pearls. 
um, really, really very pretty. I do have some other large adult hangers that I do make for brides that are extremely um, extravagant because they are, uh, there's many French laces being used, lots and lots of lace, and uh, there are many times uh, in the past doing these for people that I did never got a chance to make the video, if you can believe that. Um, in the meantime, along with that, um, I had also created the gift tag to go with that, which I thought was pretty. Um, it's not going overboard too much on the tag. Um, there'll be like a sticky thing on the back. However, the person wants to um, use the gift tag for it. There's also a stick pin in there as well. And um, I'm also showcasing uh, another keepsake gift set, which is... Um, also for a child, and I'm going to get to that right now as well. Um, and as, as you can see here, um, this was one that I was featuring earlier today on Facebook. Um, this is also very vintage lace um, that I had used on this one, along with a vintage photo that I had gotten off of Google.com. I put that in a plastic envelope, and then I um, added it onto the top of a book box which as you can see is very plain on the inside vintage lace on the outside and uh, vintage lace and flowers in the front I created this flower from some of the uh, lace that I had left over uh, from a previous project using also some um, stray uh, pieces of pearls that are on a fish wire just creating it wasn't anything that I even like thought of I just smushed the rows together and came up with that and I thought that it looked pretty just to have it on the end kind of like near the little girl's hair and then I have scalloped around um, uh, the uh, pearls on a strand I made some stick pins in silver and gray just to reflect like the black and white I didn't want to start throwing colors in there and then on the bottom here I have some really pretty mulberry paper roses from Wild Orchid Crafts and um, I just I'd like to get to some of the other pieces that go with the white set okay and um, oops sorry okay the one that the one that you're seeing now here is a hanger uh, that I've also created for this. this is also another child's hanger um, and I have some netting formed into a bow and some pretty flowers and very beautiful lace. Um, the lace is um, probably about, I don't know, four inches wide or so. I'm actually looking for the, it comes on a roll and I, I actually, oops, sorry, I actually inherited that one as well. Uh, it's a very pretty lace. It's got to be, I think it's from 1938. I try to keep it uh, in very good condition, but when someone asks me for something that they want to be made very special with vintage, I use these laces that I have. Very, very pretty. Um, it's plain on the back. This is actually going to be used um, in photographs in a child's prop uh, for pictures. Um, I don't know exactly what kind of theme it's going to be. I just know it's for children. Um, I also created this really cute, very, very plain book. Um, this is like just like maybe a memory book or a diary, or they can put pictures in here of some sort. I created the book from a video that I found on Facebook with two pieces of heavy-weighted chipboard, put it together with some vintage seam binding, and I have um, a small diary, or if they want to use it as a photo album, or just for their picture prop, whatever they're going to wind up doing. And then um, this really pretty uh, gift tag that I had created. Um, that one is also featuring uh, laces from uh, Shabbylicious. Uh, I I think that I did share this one on, on my Facebook fan page. I'm not really sure. It's Susie Crafter Designs. The links are below if you want to go and check it out. But there will be photos that are, will be shown. Um, as you can see, there's a metal piece in there, some flowers, and some of those pretty uh, doodad leaves, and laces, and different laces, and pieces that were left over from other projects. Um, I haven't done any little uh, black and white photo projects in a while. Um, until I had uh, this person who asked me if I can do something for photo shoots 
and so I did. So, uh, and this is what I, I use. This is really like, I don't know if it's going to be a wall hanging, if they're going to want to keep it or not. So, I mean, if not, then I'll take it back and it could be like a refrigerated magnet or something. It's probably in total size 4 by 6. Uh, the photo in the center is maybe 3 by 5 or 3 by 4. Um, very cute little girl. I love her face. I love this picture. Every time I see it, I've used it so many, many times. And there's so many things that I make that I don't really get a chance to do the videos or the video... I don't know, I ran out of the video camera little thingy, I had to buy a new one, that could have been a reason, the battery was dead, I was very busy, I just, it didn't upload right, I got annoyed. <laughs> so this is not a design team project, but I did want to feature uh, these uh, really beautiful laces um, from Shabbylicious and some of those doodads with the pearls on um, one side, um, it's like almost like a shell flower, and I put pearls in those. That little tiny pink one, you'll see that in my next design team project in the middle of the month. Um, in the meantime, um, I just, I really was excited about sharing. I have a lot of new projects uh, that are coming out um, within the next coming month or so. I sketch all my designs ahead of time. I have books that are going back 20 years with my designs. Um, please, I ask all of you who see my videos, don't take offense in the the little C that's closed in for copyright. Um, all of us, when we post something online, it's usually copyright, where I had done that many, many years ago. Um, and I know that people have done um, hangers and so on in the past. However, um, I'm the, the designs that I've created here, um, I really have not seen. I showed a video three years ago, and I closed it down. And I just recently have brought it back. Um, so uh, the hangers are really very big right now. I'm currently doing a very elaborate, <coughs> excuse me, bridal hanger uh, that the bride is not wearing white. It's not for any reason. She's wearing a crew. So uh, the request for that was the um, the a crew hanger for the undergarments and. That is also going to be used in photography for the photo shoots. Um, I'm also doing another tiara, which is also for a bride photo shoot. So um, a lot of these designs are my originals. So um, I'm so glad that you're here today uh, to share this with me. And um, I really uh, enjoy making a lot of these things. It was a lot of fun. I haven't really shared some projects that are in between. I just didn't have the time. I was kind of running wild with uh, a lot of other things that were personal. But um, getting back to uh, some of these things here, I just love the way the box came out. It's very shabby. It's very elegant looking. Love it with the matching <clears throat> hanger in the background. Um, that's going to be beautiful in the photo shoot. And you can see how the... Um, the hanging lace, it's just, it's not lace that you see all the time. This is a very beautiful lace. Let me just, um, I just want to show you. I mean, I don't know if I've shown you guys my laces at all. I need to do like a craft room video. But here is the lace um, that I used. And you can see there's so much here. Okay, um, and um, this this lace um, I inherited from my mother-in-law who used to make uh, bridal gowns. And I'm so sorry she's not with us anymore because I'm sure she should have could have given me a couple of tips. And I, I'm at a loss between, um, I have several of these different ranges of colors that I'm going to be using. But um, here's one that's a little deeper in, in tone. It's got a lot of undertone of beige, whereas the other one is more in the ivory family. So we'll see. And I'm going to try and share that with you just uh, for the sake of um, making a really quick video. If not, um, please go on over and like my um, my Suzy Crafter Designs page on Facebook so that you don't miss out on anything. I really love it when everyone gets a chance to see um, what I've been doing. So, well, I hope everyone liked what I've brought to the table today to share with you. And if you find inspiration here, please mention me. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And I hope everyone is doing well and feeling fine. Thank you so much.